And we're back, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a displacement text effect in Adobe Photoshop. Let us start with a white background, and I'll upload a texture, rotate it holding shift, and reset it holding alt, you will find that via the description below. You'll need that, for later, let me rename it to texture, I'll make it invisible. And I'll add another image, which is kind of an abstract, uh, you could say checkerboard design and I call it displacement one. We will create a checkerboard ourselves now. Let me open a new layer. I'll use rectangle tool and hold shift when I drag this rectangle. Use the movement tool and I don't want to have it perfectly set to the edge. So I go a little bit overboard and then I hold alt, drag a copy out of it holding shift. Let me create four of them and I select them all by clicking shift. And then I hold Alt and Shift to copy that group. Do it again. You can see this up here. Every second rectangle I now want to make white. And that should be it. We don't need this one, let me delete it. Then I hold shift and select them all again. Press Ctrl G to group it. And then I copy that group, pressing Ctrl J. And I hold shift, drag it downwards. And then I put it to the right side, but I need to add one rectangle white. So let me copy the last one on the left, the black one, press Ctrl J. I hold shift and I drag it to the left and I make it white. Now I close this group and I select both groups. So hold shift, select them both. Then hold alt, drag a copy out of it and hold shift, move it downwards. Do that again. And we've got our checkerboard ready. Let me group all of them. So hold shift, select the top and the last one. Then I press ctrl J, I rename it to checkerboard. Make sure it's normal, it's a blending mode. And now go to image and duplicate it. Make sure duplicate merge layers only is selected. I'll call that displacement two as displacement one will be the image that you can also download via the description link. The second one is what we've created here. Let me go to displace two, then adjustment desaturate. We don't need to do it here, but when you use another image, make sure to desaturate it. Then go to file save as and I call it displacement two. I will go back to our first Photoshop file and I use the displace one. I go to image and then duplicate that as well. And we need to desaturate that later on, so don't forget about that. But first we are going to duplicate it. So image, duplicate, duplicate merge layers only, and displacement one, or displace one in this case. Then image adjustments desaturate. Then save as and the file. And we we'll call it displacement one. So now we've got everything that we need. We'll go back to the original PSD file. And we'll add some text. I'll just call it displacement, in this case all caps. And I use Casa Ultra FLF as a font. The effect looks best on a thick, on a bold font. I resize that holding alt. Then I press Ctrl A to select it all and I align it to the center. Press Ctrl D to deselect it all. Then right click on your text layer and turn it into a smart object. Afterwards go to filter, distort and displace, horizontal and vertical scale. A little bit of guesswork. Make sure you've got stretch to fit selected. And we'll use displacement one on it, and you can already see the effect. Well, let me press Ctrl Z and I'll increase the distortion. Horizontal scale and vertical scale 1015 should be fine for displacement one. 
That looks good. Let me copy this layer by pressing Ctrl J. Then I'll rename the bottom one displacement one and I rename the top one displacement two and I get rid of the smart filters. So right click and clear smart filters. Now again, go to filter, distort and displace. I'll change the values to 5 and 10 and then I use displacement too. It also looks fine. Let us keep it. So displacement 2 was our checkerboard that we've created from scratch and displacement 1 that was the image that you can download via the description link. Depending on what you use it creates different results. Let me show you how you can swap the colors here. Just right click on your displacement layers, blending options, color overlay, make it white. Okay, and we'll have to change the color of the background. Select the background layer, use the bucket tool, make black a foreground color, and left click. Now we're going to add the texture that we've added in one of the first steps. So move the texture layer to the top, and then change the blending mode. Difference looks really cool here, so I'm going to keep that. Now let us change the displacement to layer. We'll give it a color overlay white as well. And that's it. This is how you can create this displacement text effect in Adobe Photoshop. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.